things that I've learned and that I continue to learn is finding your voice and remaining authentic to who you are. Because as we see, there's so many people out here in the world of social media, they're doing a lot to um, emotionally trigger their audience or to create clickbait mm -hmm. or um, presenting another persona that's not even themselves. Right. That takes away from the core of who they are and their messaging. So how have you found yourself being able to maintain true to yourself and saying, hey, I'm not going to take this type of photo. I'm not going to post this type of reel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay true to my core and, and, and who I feel as Cheryl to gain my audience my way and God's way versus, as I say, the cheat code. Because there's so many cheat codes out here. Yeah. I've even had people, mm -hmm. particularly guys, tell me where if you post or dress this way or do this, then maybe you can gain more followers faster. And that's just not the message that I choose to put out because I've said before, that's not what, that's not what is for sale. That's right. That's right. So for me, you kind of asked uh, a lot of questions in there at once, but when I started at the Mark Coley business Academy, that was um, my, my business was still a newborn. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that we talked about is no matter what industry that you're in, there's always other people doing the same exact thing that you that you do. Yeah. So what you've got to do is find a way to be an individual in your industry. And mm -hmm. so I had to tap into what made me different. Um, and what made me different is the fact that, you know, I'm in an industry when it comes down to taxes where everybody cheats, you know, everybody wants the the, the bang for the book, but they don't want to do, you know, the right thing in order to get it. And so I just, I for one, I took to comedy because I, I love to laugh. I think I have a pretty good sense of humor. And so I took a lot of serious concepts when it came down to taxes and kind of made them funny. And it drew um, the attention of people so much so to people that, you know, I've never done their taxes before were speaking words of encouragement. And it was like, yes, baby, put that in the atmosphere. I had somebody to tell me, you know, I see you in a couple of years in a Forbes magazine or I see you owning, you know, multiple offices because I didn't choose the pathway that is so easy to go because in the tax industry, it's so easy to make a lot of money really fast. Yeah, but I want to scared of God in the IRS. Yes, so. I was gonna say I have to be able to sleep at night, baby. Yes. And orange does not look good, or whatever color they're wearing in prison now, it don't look good on me. Not in there, anyways. <laughs> <Not>. Period. <laughs>